Hey, that doesn't rhyme. Don't rhyme shame me. Nearly rhymes don't count. Hey guys, what are you guys working on? Oh, just a little poem for the shutdown anniversary. Nice. Who's it for? You're just a mere freshman. You wouldn't know her. She's from the before times. So tell me about her. Gladly. Gladly. Oh, toads, my lover, my darling, the dear, my dearest. The evenings with you were never the clearest. And sometimes I'd leave you with no memory at all. Ex with the exception of my incredibly large Snapchat haul. But now we don't have you to dance in and sing and take home a record of one night flings. Our Fridays have reached a new dark shade of blue. Toad's great love, we miss you through and through. The EXs on our hands that marked our age were scrubbed off promptly so we could engage in behavior that would not leave these darkened walls except by mouth in filthy bathroom stalls. <laughs> I miss the long nights where sweaty men would fight over overpriced Red Bulls and spilled vodka sprites. Dude bros push and shove, bringing in helpless bystanders, and homeless people would sneak in to pervertly meander. I miss losing my friends and seeking high ground, just to lose them again and they'd never be found. Button down shirt, wide open like a curtain, so much eyeliner in here, it's straight up Tim Burton. I'd have to admit, I didn't always want to go. Actually, most nights, I wish I would just stayed home. Stayed my good khakis and tried nicotine, just so I could fit in and maybe meet my queen. I miss grinding on strangers and flashing fake IDs to buy overpriced drinks and walk floors soaked in pee. Piss here, piss hair. In fact, piss everywhere. That's terrible. Who wrote that? I thought it was pretty good. Guys, keep going. I think I'm finally getting it. Pee tsunami. Pee in my Bugatti, drunk people looking like piss-covered zombies, dudes fighting like they want to do karate. I miss your gross floors and hot flashing lights and wearing black clothes that were always skin tight. Now I understand, Toes. Oh my, what a fright. Merry, Merry COVID, COVID to all, and, and to all, all it's Quinnipiac, Quinnipiac tonight. tonight. Betcha, but I think we need a new name because the big event has gotten a little old. Well, what about the small event? No, that's not big enough. The, what about the medium event? No, then people will think we're psychics. What about the monstrous event? No, I think people will be too scared. It's not Halloween themed, remember? What about the gargantuan event? Well, now you've overshot it just a little. Fine, we'll keep the name. Okay, well, now that we have the name, let's decide on what the big event actually is. You don't know what it is? Mm, no, we didn't have it last year, remember? So, you know we didn't have it, but you don't know what it is. Correct. All the seniors graduated and none of the juniors remember.
remember the before time, so we don't really know what it is. All we know is it's a big event. Well, speaking of big, we have a big show ahead of us. Stick around and find out what we did on our mental health days.
hair day. I can't wait to just relax and just chill with my feet up. Hello? Uh-huh. So no self-care day, just a regular work day. Wait, 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 let me get this straight. So you're telling me that classes are canceled across campus in the name of preserving student mental health, but I have to come in to work today. Yes, I know that's what you said, but I just wanted to rephrase it, just to clarify. Yeah, fine. You f the school. Okay, Kara, you've got the day off. You're not a film major, you're a double major in biomedical sciences, neuroscience, and molecular physics. No time for lollygagging, you've got to get the it done. What a lovely day for some medium rare bacon. Alright, I'm only scheduled to sit here for about two hours. Today shouldn't be so bad. Hello? Uh-huh. So everyone called out for self-care day. Okay, so let me get this straight. You're telling me I have to work for eight and a half hours today, sitting here behind a desk and the CCE twiddling my thumbs in the same mental health of my colleagues. Meaning my day is ruined today, completely. Yeah, yeah, I know. I like to repeat things out loud. It helps me remember. Yes, I'm a bit of a weird bird, sir. Correct. Yes, that's me, a weird bird. Yes, I'm repeating myself again. Yeah, love ya. I mean, see ya later, boss. Another day, another headache. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the what now? This is too confusing. I have to move away from health science. Let's go to something easier. All right, physics. Let's start. <laughs> Marley, you're such a rascal, you cute little dog. Huh? I hope nothing bad happens to you. Uh, Man, I hope everyone is as relaxed as I am on this beautiful day. <gasps> oh, sick! Leftovers! <sighs> Let the self-care begin. Yes, ma'am, I understand. I pay good money for my child to come here. I ain't paying them to get educated, not the day off. When I was your age, we never cared about mental health, and I turned out fine. I mean, for all we know, she could be snorting cocaine in her room right now. Ma'am, I assure you, there's no coke snorting going on. <sighs> Someone get me some eggs. Maybe if I eat the knowledge, my brain will absorb it faster. Time for my daily screen. Oh. 
Meditating on the quad, oh. Ma'am, please, you're on a drug-induced rampage. You've got to let the medical professional sedate you. You'll never catch me. My mental health has reached maximum capacity. I've ascended. <laughs> No emo alert, no problem. Ah, I can't believe I got out early today. I guess this was a great mental health day after all. So, let me get this straight. I'm about to get hit by a golf cart. Oh, son of a- Thanks for sticking with us through those technical difficulties. Now you have two minutes to go rake up some leaves or something. We'll be back. Multiple studies have shown that marijuana can slow both driver reaction and response time, which can be really dangerous. Can't drive. Why? Why? My. Oh. Do something to feel okay to drive. You're not okay to drive. Don't drive buzzed. Hmm. Maybe you can make retirement happen. After all, you made home ownership happen. Homeschooling yourself on loans, beefing up your credit score. So I'm pre-approved. You were like, yes. Sorry. Color coding listings, ticking boxes, and flushing every toilet in a 20-mile radius. Home sweet home. Aced House Hunter. Now get the tips you need to get on track at aceyourretirement.org. Mother Nature needs a nap. She's messing with the weather too much. <laughs> yeah, she's making it way too cold in here. I don't think she controls the AC in here. Well, someone needs to raise the heat. Just watch the segment. Oh, crikey. If there's any more fly around here, I'm gonna be willing to Bobby. Chad! Chad! What's up, Miss Mother Nature? How's it hanging? Low, Chad. Very low. Where's my oscillating fan? Huh? My oscillating fan? I'm having hot flashes. Oh, oh Mommy Nature, I didn't realize you gave your assistants free front row seats to the movie spectacular show. Bring on the hot flashes, man. <sighs> I'm not flashing you, Chad. That's not what hot flashes are, you tool. And by the way, call me mother. Fine, okay then, Miss Mommy Mother. The fan, now. Better send some fans to the Aussies too. They're burning up down under. And if I wasn't burning up down under myself right now, I'd smite you right here. That's hot. Flashes, fan. Yo, so like, I got your fan. Whoa, are you okay? Get it out, get it out right now. They always ask howdy. And never, how'd you like to be on the national power grid? Well, that explains Texas. What's up with you? No, no, nothing. I'm fine. I was talking about the weather. What? I can't change things up when I want to? God, my skin is so itchy. You want some lotion, Mom? It is so totally hot in here, and it's totally not cool. Like, there's more sweat in my Crocs than there is water in this state. Ugh. L.A. I just had the most horrible dream. I was losing control of the weather and... That wasn't a dream, man. Chad, I'm sorry. Did I wake you? Nah. Sleep is for the weak. The grind doesn't stop. You're insufferable. What is happening? Well, it's raining. In the desert, at least. <sighs> mm. 
Wait a second. You get hot flashes and Australia is on fire. You get chills and Texas freezes over. Then you get dry skin and there's a drought. And now you get night sweats and it's raining. Something's up and you better tell me what. That's ridiculous. Are you insinuating? I don't know what that word means, but I'm gonna say yes. <sighs> well, the truth is I'm, I'm going through menopause. Men what? I'm going through menopause! Aren't those those big Altoids you put in coke and it explodes? Get out of my house! You're giving me a headache! You look in the sky, man! Whoa! The ground is so shaky! I can barely stand up! Oh, I think... I think that's over. Oh god, you will not believe the thing I had to go through today. You don't gotta tell me, man. Mother Nature's been a real bitch lately. If you grew up watching PBS, you'll like this. Maybe. I don't know you. Take a look! Two minutes without my gorgeous face? What are you gonna do? Watch the commercials? When we adopt a shelter pet, we discover they're a unique mix of all kinds of things. Come on, Jules, spot on this last one. Uh, there it is. He's gone with it. Leo! <laughs> they're a little bit of a lot of things but they're all pure love. Honey, what I think you need is a socket wrench. I played JV basketball. I'm sorry, I don't think it looks right. This is good, that. and it's all is good, it, baby. Is it really all good? If you love me enough to routinely test your handyman skills, not to mention the strength of your marriage, then of course you'll visit nhtsa.gov slash the right seat to make sure I'm in the right car seat. I'm gonna call my dad. What you're thinking. I need a job. I need a new career. Well, I've been there. I've been there. I've been there. I wasn't happy with what I was doing. After high school, I didn't have a plan. I just wanted to start working. I got laid off twice. But you gotta keep going. You just need the right skills. Find an apprenticeship. I found a two-year IT program. I found a medical course online. I'm now a consultant in the tech space. You have more options than you think. You can do this. You will find something. You will find something new. Hello, fellow faculty. Thanks for meeting with me to discuss State of the Q-Union. Um, I thought it was the Q-U-Neon. Wait, I thought it was the Quinion. It's Q-Union. 
Anyway, we've gathered the best and the available here, all two of you, to prepare you to answer difficult questions our student body might have. Let's go, and let's go over the five steps of answering students' questions here at QU. Um, what's step one? Wow, great question. Step one is acknowledging how great the question is. Okay, what's next? Thanks, and I'm so glad you asked. Moving on. Wait, you didn't answer me. Exactly, that's what we in the biz call a deflection. Did you see that sweet pivot? Wow, that was actually one slick pivot. What's step two? There isn't one. Really? No, gotcha. Step two is just straight up lying. We use this one all the time at QU. It comes in handy for any scenario. Lying, <laughs> isn't that a little morally wrong? Nope, our fellow Connecticut institutions like Yale and the other ones also practice that technique. Oh, well that makes sense. If Yale does it, then it must be morally just. Except when it comes to hockey, then they're always wrong. Now you're getting it. That's why step three is citing other universities as examples instead of taking accountability. That's how we throw our pea brain students off the scent. Okay, step four, distract them with free things like raffles and food trucks so they forget how bad the school experience is. But is it the very act of having the food trucks acknowledging how bad the school food is? Well, at Sacred Heart... Oh, I think I'm getting a hang of it now. Is that it? We can't forget step five. I think you all know this one. Go, Go Bobcats! If there's one thing you should take away from this class, it's to never forget who we are at the core as spokespeople at the university. We have a mission of acronym for our students here. Prioritize education, redefine learning, inspire confidence in our kids. So we're pricks. Not the, or the biggest. Well, not quite as big as those tools who say, big event or die, big event or die. Hey Rose, are you ready for this year's TBE? Yeah, I'm so excited to go on all the rides and eat fried food. The rides? Yeah, the Big E. Have you ever been? Not the Big E, the big event. You know, the thing you're currently on the executive board for? Oh, that makes a lot more sense. As you know, last year didn't really go as planned, so we're gonna have to take some more precautions this year. We won't have to make that many, let's be realistic. Did you and I participate in the same event last year? There was no last year, but the year before that, yeah, that went great. Smooth sailing, what would you want to change? I don't know, maybe making sure no one gets stuck in an industrial dumpster? Hello, anyone in there? Yeah, that's actually not funny. We've been in here for like two hours. I thought it would lighten the mood. You thought wrong. I peed myself twice already. In two hours? I'm well hydrated and scared. All right, well, we'll try to get you out as soon as possible, but you know what they say. Big event or die. die. She's peeing again. Yeah, so let's make sure that doesn't happen again this year. Okay, but what about animal warfare? I feel like you already know that's not allowed. It worked last year. Come on, you can't take away the OFC. OFC? I don't even want to know what that is. Oh, awesome fight club! Go, Come go, on, get, you the you get, get, get the two! Get the two! Take just the shot! Take the team! You need to be shot! Come on, 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 I'm vehemently against this. Rose, what did we say about the big words? All right, just tell me how else you want to kill all the fun. I'm not killing the fun. Don't you remember last year we lost two volunteers because they got on the wrong bus with that band? And they won two Grammys. And they were on milk cartons for weeks. You didn't see the pictures? I'm lactose intolerant, you know that. But hey, sacrifices have to be made for the success of the big event. You don't mean. Oh yeah. All hail the big event! The biggest! The sacrifices are necessary! Oh yeah, they are! And there will be more this year! So many! All hail! The big E! No! The big event! My bad. I dare you to do community service for our two minute break. Or, are you a chicken?
I don't think that many kids in my son's school even do it. He makes fun of his friend who vapes. He would never try it. She's in the song. She's on the honor roll. She's just on the tape. No way. No way. No way. No way. My kid would never vape. Get your head out of the cloud. Today, nearly 8,000 kids will start vaping. Maybe even yours. Learn about the dangers at talkaboutvaping.org. Meet the scam. A simple procedure whose mission is to detect lung cancer early. I'm here to save you! But I feel fine. That's great, but you may still be at high risk for lung cancer. Oh man, that's a new fence. If you smoke, early detection could save your life. Learn more at SavedByTheScan.org. I think it's just vapor with flavor. It won't hurt my kid like cigarettes, right? Vaping is safer than smoking, isn't it? There's really not even that much nicotine in them, right? My kid? My kid, my kid knows it's dangerous. Get your head out of the cloud. Today, nearly 8,000 kids will start vaping, maybe even yours. Learn about the dangers at talkaboutvaping.org. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Hot Goss. And I'm not Johnny. He's Will, and I'm Kira. Quinnipiac is changing up the guidelines and loosening up their COVID regulations starting next week. As soon as cases started looking mildly okay, Quinnipiac decided to open the floodgates and start letting people go in between dorms. They're uh, jumping the gun a little, aren't they? It worked so well when the country opened up after cases dipped over the summer. Um, right. Quinnipiac is also in some hot water because it turns out they're secretly quarantining students in random suites on York Hill. They stuck random names like Mary, Alice, Jocelyn, Sarah, and Alexa to the doors and hoped that their neighbors would just believe that their hallmates, you know, never entered or exited the room. That's right. If you see those signs in your hall, then that means that members of that room have, in fact, contracted syphilis. Ah, you thought we were going to say COVID, huh? The old bait and syphilis. The COVID vaccine will be given to those 16 and up starting in April, April 5th, so we won't have to suffer much longer. And you might need it if you're, you know, on campus after QU's guidelines change. Feel like sending thank you notes to the human solution of COVID? Donald Trump, the recipient has it for you. He's himself. The former dictator, I mean, um, uh, president, sent out a official statement asking vaccine recipients to think of him when they're getting their shots. Why do you do air quotes? It's literally a shot. I don't know. Trump puts it in quotes. Uh, uh, anyway, he said that without him, we wouldn't be seeing it for another five years. So. That's an interesting argument, considering a vaccine was promised to the public by him in 2020, and nothing ever happened. On to the biggest news of the year. The general has returned. The general? The sweetest, most delicious, regular cafeteria nugget di dipped in sauce and left out in the air all day treat that you could possibly get. So it's cafeteria chicken, but in sauce. Do not question the general. He's a miracle and a gift to this campus. Moving on. Ladies Sir. and gentlemen. What? The pride of Mount Carmel. Don't say it. General Soul has returned to the cafeteria. Uh-huh. Thank you for that very loud announcement. As I was saying, QU is hosting an Easter egg hunt on the quad to celebrate the holiday. Uh, now, you may be wondering, isn't the quad just a lot of grass? Where are they going to, you know, hide the eggs? It's a great question. Is there an answer? Nope. Uh, maybe they'll just paint the eggs green? Okay, well, in other news, not QU news, Papa John is under fire for giving an interview where he said he would do his best to stop using racial slurs. We actually have Papa here today to clear his name. Come on in, Papa. Or is that Mr. John? It's Papa. Mr. John was my dad's name. Thank you for having me on. It's not often a white man has a safe space to talk these days. Okay, bad start, horrible start. You're right, you're right, that's the old me, wink. Uh, Mr. Papa, people are criticizing you because your timeline for recovery seems a little extensive. 
I think it's horrible that people want to police the healing process. It's a big task not being racist. Can you imagine a world where you can't say the n-word wherever you please? What is this, Europe? Papa John, please control your rhetoric. Sorry, you can never be sure who's recording and canceling you. I don't think that the entire world is as, is as outraged as you're making it out to be. It's the board trying to find the tiniest thing so they can boot me. Everyone knows I'm the pizza king. You can't throw me out without a cause, so they took my favorite word and politicized it. You know what I mean? I, um, I most certainly do not. That's, that's more than enough from Papa John. Get him out of the studio! I'm Will Tier. And I'm Kira Beckerman. This has been The Hottest Goss. but make it into a teen sitcom. You mean Veggie Tales? That's a kid's show, Carl. Yeah, 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 but Petunia Rhubarb was packing, though. I hate you. Fiona, wait, Fiona. Roll the segment. Fiona! Eden was a good town. Home to a nice little garden. Place where a family could really start over, free of sin. But a funny thing about small towns, they don't stay good forever. Sin is everywhere. All right, class, now remember to sacrifice one lamb to Yahweh tonight for admittance to the Red Sea dance. And don't forget to cast your vote for this year's Moses. You know, Abel, you got a pretty good shoe in for Moses this year. You think so? I don't know, this might be your year, Jacob. Those Sunday school kids love their J names. I don't know, man, I got other problems. <laughs> one thing is for sure is that I'm not gonna get it. I'm weird. I'm a weirdo, an outsider, a lone wolf, if you will. Don't say that, Kane. Come on, you might still have a shot. Yeah, if you drop dead. <laughs> Hello, Jacob. I was wondering if you would like to ask me to go to the dance with you. I was supposed to ask him, and you're supposed to be my wing woman. Um, no, we agreed that because I'm prettier that I will get to ask him. Why would I agree that you're prettier? Uh, two reasons. One, because you're ugly. Two, because I got first dibs in the gene pool. It's common sense, Rachel. Duh! Do you guys need some privacy or... No! Okay, that's I'm literally that's so much prettier than you. Like, he yeah, definitely likes me so much more than you. That's Have you not seen, like, the signs? Like, I swear... Jacob! Come! I gotta go. The Red Sea Dance. A night filled with the biggest troglodytes that you'd ever meet. And I'm fairly certain I'm using that word correctly here. I never understood dances. What were they for? Some cheap laughs or even cheaper wine and wafers? Little did we know that that night would bring an even bigger tragedy than some stale communion bread. This is going to be the craziest night of non-touching dancing that we've ever seen. Come on, let's go get some holy water. Or, if you want to get really crazy, I've got some spiked blood of Christ in my back pocket. Who's Christ? You'll see. Good into the side. Look at me just down. What can I say? Hello? Yep. Everyone, hi. Can you hear me okay? Well, actually, I know you can. I'm connecting directly to your spirits right now, so settle down, please. Oh my jeez, it's God! I love you, God! Please, please, sign my Bible! Yes, thank you. Great. It's about time that we announce this year's Moses. Yes, yes! It's so cool! You're so cool! Have my, have my son, please! Okay, seriously, let's calm down. That doesn't happen until season zero, okay? The winner is... Son of a bitch. Abel! Yes! 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 I want to literally thank God for giving- Okay, okay. Calm down. Alright. 
You get a crown with this. Let me see. Where did I put it? Okay, I found... Oh my me! He's dead! I turned around for two seconds. Who did this? We all try to be good. But we can't all stay that way. I learned that the hard way. I guess Abel did too. That's our show. Thank you all for your support by logging on and spending your Thursday night with us. We appreciate your efforts to keep everyone safe. And another big thanks to the cast and crew for putting on another awesome show. A big thank you to The Big Event for hosting our eighth episode. Make sure to sign up for The Big Event on April 10th with your family unit. Registration closes on Sunday, March 21st at 11.59. Thank you to our executive board committees and advisor um, for helping us to plan this upcoming big event. And thank you to the university for helping us to put it on. Don't forget to find Q Tonight on social media. Follow them on Instagram and Twitter at Q Tonight. Make sure to subscribe to Q30 on Q30 TV on YouTube too. And download the Q30 app to stay up to date with our show and all things Q30. We will see you for our 10th show of the season on April 1st. Have, Have a, a wonderful, wonderful night, night, everyone. <laughs>